Very frustrating and tough loss on many fronts for the Chicago Cubs. Are they possibly really hitting a wall? We talk about it all next. You are Locked On Cubs, your daily Chicago Cubs podcast. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. You are Locked On Cubs, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Alongside Sam Olber, I'm Matt Cozy. Please support the show by following on your preferred audio platform, and you can watch, subscribe, and leave a comment on YouTube. Thanks so much for making us your first listen. Sam and I are lifelong fans, taking our passion into a discussion with you on all things Cubs. Today's Thursday episode is presented by Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, use code LOCKDOWNMLB for $20 off your first purchase. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed with Game Time. Cubs lose 13 to 7 to the Pirates on Wednesday. They're a half game up on the Marlins for the third wild card spot. Diamondbacks did win on Wednesday and are now a game and a half up on the Cubs as the Marlins, Reds, and Giants all lost. In Wednesday's ball game at Wrigley, the Pirates led 8 to 1. When the Cubs got it within two, with the main highlight being an Ian Happ grand slam to make it 8-6 in the fifth, but the Pirates immediately responded in the top of the sixth and held the lead from there. Sam, there's a lot to talk about from this night innings that, that we just witnessed. Yeah, I think there's a lot in it. Um, I don't think we have to cover all of it because it's not really, you know, the, the pattern we get into on this show throughout the year is we, we we break down the game and then we get into you know short and long term consequences. There is no long term consequence. There's 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 ten games to go and it's yeah, a sprint. it's only short term. So so the, the the fact that they fought hard and that Ian Happ had a good game, none of it matters. It's just about wins and yeah. losses at this point. And I'll preface my comments by saying that there what th- this was one of those games I would file under the many this year that just felt like. Uh, uh, if the Cubs had no luck at all, they would have won it. Um, Justin Steele did not pitch well, but there were six straight singles. None of them hit well. Uh, a huge little tapper back to the mound that resulted in a big inning. Morrell hits the balls hard. There was a big miss call by the umpire. All that being said, you score seven runs against the Pirates at home with Justin Steele on the mound. You've got to win that baseball game. And I'm going to be very light in my criticism of Justin Steele because he has been so great and so reliable this year. And it's just unfortunate that his last two outings, um, you know, in, in two very important games have, have been rough. I thought his first one, I thought they were very unique because his, his outing against Arizona was, he just got bit beat on two get me over breaking balls for two, three run homers. And that was the difference. And it kind of just was some sequencing stuff. And then today he's fine through three innings. And then out of nowhere, he gets ambushed by Hayes and then just the wheels fall off. It actually kind of reminded me a little bit of like the, the start of Strowman's downfall, where in the beginning when Strowman started to struggle, it was like, oh, well, it's just he's regressing a little bit back to the mean, and then it got a lot worse. So hopefully he'll bounce back. But, you know, hopefully. it really it, it really doesn't matter. Like, it's just like it, it's a really rough loss. Um, I, I said it before on the show. I think 86 wins is the target. Uh, Miami and Cincinnati losing, it definitely maybe helps that a little bit. But at the yeah. end of the day, if you want to feel safe, and I told you this off the air, uh, I think you need to. I think you need to be two games up heading into Atlanta. I, I really think you need that to yeah. be safe. And the Cubs are a half game up right now, and they have their game in hand on Thursday, which we'll talk about. But you know they. They, they, they lost another opportunity tonight. You know, the vibes were great heading into the game. Marlins were losing pretty big. Reds had already lost. You right. felt like, hey, if we get this, we're back to having a little bit of breathing room and feeling good. And now um, after a loss like that, you just set yourself up for a a, a very, very scary proposition on Thursday because it, it there is no more bigger must win than a game like that. I will say with possibly two more starts from him, the steel thing is a major concern in the short term. Yeah, sure. I, I like I like framing it that way. I think that's uh, once again a good call by you. And and the fact is, in the short term, this is this is major. Your number one pitcher, and he falters and falters mightily. Two starts in a row. Yeah, they're Bailey, vastly different. Bailey falter. Yeah, but. <laughs> 
Six runs allowed each of the last two outings. Uh, again, vastly different, but that, that, that's a major run scoring total. And he's missing up frequently. Yep, he did miss. Uh, he missed a lot. His lack of a put away pitch, um, yeah. you know, is something that has hindered him these last two times. Yep. Uh, not to say that he covered it up in the past. It was just, uh, just that it's worked out. And right. um, you know, his ERA is now to, up to an even three. The Cy Young conversation Done. is no, no more. Done. And, uh, you know, that's disappointing from a personal standpoint for him as well. But, sure, um, you know, he has two more starts on the calendar, possibly even the season yeah. finale, which with the tie-breaking scenario could be for a playoff spot. Right. Um, so we'll see. We'll see with that because he's going to pitch again. If not one, uh, twice, then certainly one other time. Yeah, and I think, I think Justin Steele – struggling is, is is kind of on par with where this team is at they they yeah. just look tired um they they, they just look, Hoyer yeah. talked about that the other day they just look tired and and you know I get it's a 162 game season and I and I, and I do right. feel like overall it is a pretty unnecessary excuse but I, I just don't think you could calculate stress and they have played so many high stress games starting yeah. from July to try and you know swear off this this uh, you know uh, sell off at the deadline that they've already they, they, been in playoff mode. Yeah, they just look tired. Uh, uh, Mark Leiter Jr. just doesn't have it anymore. Oh, you know, Dansby Swanson's at bats, zero for five, four Ks. You know, I I, I should. I, sh I should put my hand on something to apologize to the folks because I, God forbid, I criticize Dancy something. Swanson, yeah. who's got a higher approval rating than Abraham Lincoln. But, but I, you know, he continues to struggle and, a, and just looks a fatigued. Beard like him as well. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, just offensively, they just, they just look tired. Um, you know, the game on Tuesday night was great, fourteen runs, but you know, it's only one win, and you know. I, I just look at us, Matt. I mean, we look tired. I mean, this is just been I haven't shaved in 10 days. No, well, I could see that. You know, it looks like it's just such <laughs> a it's just been such an emotional toll this season for oh, us. Oh, you could say that again. So imagine, you know, imagine those guys. Um Yeah, in a, and, in a way, yeah, you're right. And and I and, and again, I know I look through things. I look at things through a Cubs lens. I, I understand yeah. that. But I also have watched the game of baseball for a really long time, and I've never seen a season like this. Uh, with, with, this with this many ups and downs, it's you know, it, it, it's it's you know, it, I have a lot of fatigue, and so you know, I'd like to make a couple announcements before we uh, oh. uh, go in. So I have actually uh, two of them. Number one is, okay. a, a, and I can't believe I'm saying this. Yeah. But I will not be in front of the TV for Thursday night's game. So if right. you're looking for my tweets or you're looking for me, I won't be around. And here's my rationale on why I'm allowing myself to miss the game. If they lose, A, I don't want to watch it. And B, if they lose two out of three to Pittsburgh, I, I could sleep at night and rest easy. They don't deserve to make the postseason at this point. Okay. Second announcement is on Friday afternoon at 120 and Saturday afternoon at 120, I will be at both of those baseball games. Um, what one through work, one actually through a little podcast situation. So, um, I, I, if you want to come say hello, say hello. But if they lose those games, um, you know, don't talk to me. So yeah, uh, that's gonna be bad. If they yeah. Don't. So I but just we're hope, not we're not even gonna think that way. I just hope they win Thursday. So so the Friday game I'm going to has a good vibe around it because if they yes, lose Thursday, I might important. call. I might call in sick Friday and just not go. Right. <laughs> Somebody could sell right. my ticket. Sell it to Ronnie Woo Woo. Yeah, he's been around a lot more here in the second half. Uh, well, yeah, I, I we're gonna preview we, the series done? finale. Can we be done with the show, or do we have to keep going? No, so, we gotta I'm, hit the twenty I'm, minutes. So I'm so tired, man. I do have one other note from this game offensively. I do want to note Miles Mastroboni. Yeah, good note. Good note. Three hit game, and in the second half, Sam Mastro is fifteen for forty four, which is a three forty one average. No, well, this is the guy I thought we were getting. Uh, a a, a guy forty one. 
and, and and a guy that hits good pitching. Like he was in there against Keller for a reason. And you know, maybe they catch, you know, maybe they catch him at the right time because he's, you know, better defensively than Morell and Wisdom. So right. yeah, no, maybe, he was yeah. awesome. He was great today. I mean, Hap's Grand Slam was his biggest swing of the season. I thought Morell had great ABs all night. Bellinger had a couple of hits. Yeah. Um, Talkman had a couple good ABs, but it just, you know, the, offensively they scored seven runs. They did a nice job. Uh it just right. wasn't you know, it's hard to win when you give up 13. I'd make a 13-7 Steelers Bears joke, but that no, seems no, no. that seems <laughs> that seems inappropriate with what's going well, on. Well, I right mean, now. I'll I'll piggyback off that. The Cubs scored 14 on Monday night, a uh, Tuesday night rather. That's going to be more than the Bears score this Sunday. Yeah, no, no Bears jokes though because it's it's becoming kind of, you know, traumatizing. Yeah. So coming up next, right. we're going to preview the rubber game. It's Hendrix versus Oviedo. Uh, yeah. Coming up now. Oviedo, but all right. <laughs> Today's episode is brought Oviedo, to you by Game what is it, time. an Italian restaurant? Or? <laughs> Buying tickets to your favorite events. <laughs> Should it be stressful? Game time is the fast and easy way to buy tickets for all the sports, music, comedy, and theater near you. With killer deals on last minute tickets and their best price guarantee, you can stop stressing over the tickets and start getting hyped for the fun. You'll have, for example, Sam's going to be at the games Friday and Saturday. Oh, and gosh. Game Time has great deals right now for Cubs Rockies. We think Cubs Rockies. We think of you know just a historic matchup. <laughs> you know, good players on both sides, good history between the two teams, and so you can watch this this uh, historic matchup this weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Clark and Addison. And you can do that by downloading the Game Time app, creating an account using code Locked On MLB for twenty dollars off your first purchase. Terms do apply. Again, creating an account, redeem code Locked On MLB for twenty dollars off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. The Cubs play the Pirates at six forty p.m. Central Thursday, weather permitting, and you can listen to every pitch. <laughs> With the Cubs hometown broadcast on Sirius XM and the SXM app, search Cubs or tune into channel 844 and catch the Cubs all season long on Sirius XM. And hopefully we're going to need that radio call for the postseason as uh, I had a nightmare during today's game when Boog and JD were talking playoffs and no. Boog snuck in there that he was a, he's doing some games. They won't let he, him. That he might be assigned the Cubs series. They won't let him do the Cubs series. No way. But 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 Cubs have to win the series at 640 there. Thursday. It's Hendricks versus what's his name? That's gonna be Oviedo. Oviedo. Hendricks yeah. has allowed only three and two runs respectively into the sixth. His last two starts. Oviedo with a ton of strikeouts this year, but an ERA at four and a half. Horner half and Morrell with the best splits against the right hander. And uh, Sam, first impressions of this game that the Cubs have to win. Yeah, um, you know, obviously feel always feel good when the Cubs are in a must-win game and Kyle Hendricks is on the mound. Um, yeah, good point. With that being said, you know, there, there are some guys that really bother him on the Pirates. Key Brian Hayes and Connor Joe, I believe, are the two. Mm. And, um, you know, I, I think his last start against Pittsburgh was in Pittsburgh. He got lit up in the first inning and then didn't allow anything the rest of the game, which is not uncommon for him. Um, I know Oviedo's faced the Cubs this year. I think they handled him okay. I don't recall – they did. Uh, yeah, I think they handled them. So, you know, we'll see what happens. They need, like, it's just, I, I understand if they lose tomorrow, they're still technically tied for a wild card spot, would be eliminated by by the, the tie, but it just feels like th this is a game you need, vibe-wise. You can't, yeah. if you lose two out of three at home to start this series, to start this homestand, it starts to feel very much like a collapse where it's like, okay, it wasn't just a bad road trip. Like, you just got to win. You got to win this game. Um, it'll be interesting to see. And by the way, I just, you know, now that, um, you mentioned the rain, I actually, you know, my thing might not happen, but, um, mm -hmm. I want, is there any chance tomorrow they bump up the start time? Cause I think the weather looks good all afternoon. It doesn't start till later in the day, right? Like, right. It starts at about five. And, 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 and you got to remember they can't afford a long delay because they play no. the following afternoon. No, it'd be horrible. And you really don't want to have to make up a game between, uh, the 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 Brave series in Milwaukee. You don't want to have to come home to Wrigley, then go to Milwaukee. So I do wonder if there's a chance that if that at least gets bumped up to three oh five, I know it would be. Well, that'd be nice. Yeah. Yeah. I know it would be three forty. I wouldn't. I know it wouldn't be conducive to the to the audience, but I think the Cubs at this point have to take 
you know, their, their season more seriously and like a three, four hour rain delay would just be an absolute nightmare. And that I think, would a, be. you're right. And I think, a, and I think a makeup game next week in, in the middle of two, no. two road series would also be a nightmare. So oh, I'm horrible. very interested to see when we wake up tomorrow, if they make an announcement on that, because that's a good call. Let's keep an eye on that. Yeah, and I mean Pittsburgh doesn't care. You know what are they? No, the earlier they can play get a baseball out of game. Yeah, yeah. So I'm curious well, to see the, the 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 pitching path to victory. Oh, it's a great point because I I would go Hendricks to Merriweather to Strowman, but I think you will see Merriweather and Strowman out of the pen, yeah. and I think you'll see them out of the pen rather, but likely flipped. Yeah. Although it would be ideal to have a bridge in between Hendricks well, and Strowman. Wh- what's your re- rationale Strowman late instead cuz Strowman's going to be a bulk guy. You want him to pitch more than one inning so he would just come yeah, right I, in after Hendricks. Yeah, I just I wonder if You Mary really Weather don't could, like respect like what Merriweather's done could at Mary all. Could Merriweather be like a middle closer? No, I think he's the like closer pitch, right pitch now. Pitch like a lockdown six or seventh, and then Strowman finishes the seven nah, eight nine. I think I think you go Strowman to Merriweather. Um, All right. Well, I think Merriweather's earned that spot, and and I don't want okay. I don't want I don't want to deal with you know Strowman. Uh, well, uh, Merriweather's a good pitcher. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, I just think he's the guy. He's been really the only guy consistently here for a good long while. And by the way, like it's not a coincidence. Um, that 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 uh, Boxberger right now looks really good because he was rested for a while. Like we're seeing the value yeah. of that, and um, yeah, you know, I, I thought Ross got the lineup right. Like in, in hindsight, Mastroboni came in and got a bunch of hits, and it just is what it is. You got to find a way to win a baseball game on Thursday. I don't care if it's two one, three two, no. twenty doesn't 20, matter. Just 25, win twenty five, twenty five to twenty four. I don't care what it is. Just win a game and another Bears just, joke there. Yeah, <laughs> just please, just 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 win. Yeah, just okay? please, just and just please. Did you, you know that, that the Cubs are two still... game? Do you agree with my two game thing by uh, by Tuesday? What is it? Some kind of an uh, an alarm on the Cubs season? <laughs> no, I no, I I I I got laundry in the dryer. <laughs> so. And I, I'm going to spend the rest of my night folding laundry. Go ahead. <laughs> Did you know that with Talkman starting and leading off, the Cubs are – they still have a massively good record, 37-20. and 20. Yeah, no, yeah he'll, he'll be leading off. He, he had good at-bats. He, he's starting to come around again, I think. Uh, do we see any chance we see Canario in the lineup Thursday? Well, I'd like to not. re-ask my question because you kind of just ignored it. Oh, do what you, was it? Do you do you agree with my <laughs> my my two game lead by Tuesday? I think they need that with, with with the schedule set up. I don't. It's not that I disagree with it. I just don't see it happening. Really? I think they're going to be tied or a game up going into that final week. Oh, well, then it's over. Then the season's done. If they're tied. Well, I think that they're going to do well the rest of this week, but so will so so will some of these other clubs. Well, well, let's oh, wait, no, wait, wait. Let's think about this. Wait, the Marlins are playing the Brewers this weekend, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so, so if hold the, on, hold on. So if the I mean, I, I, I'm, I would be feeling really good if they are up two games. Going can I just talk games. on my own on my show for a second? On when our was show? When, when was the last time they've been up two games though? I don't uh, going into the Arizona series. Yeah, I mean, so come on, they. they no, it's no, no, no. See. Going into the road series a week ago, uh, three eight days ago, going into Saturday, they were two up. I thought it was a game and a half up. No, because they every time they lose to Arizona, it's two games, dude. <laughs> they Listen to me. I wanted to be two up. I I just, just, it's hard can, to see. Can I? Okay. So if it's hard to see, let me put on some lens crafters uh, contact solution for you. Okay. Right. If they win tomorrow, they're a game up on a playoff spot. Right, the Marlins are off. Right, yeah. So you're telling me at home against the Rockies, and then the Marlins and Brewers play. They can't gain one game over the weekend. Well, I appreciate you breaking it down like that. I'm just, I'm just not in a good place with this team. <laughs> no, I'm not. But even... yes, you're right. Based no, on what you're telling no, me, you, no, they could making... be two games up. You're making my point for me, though. If they aren't two games up, I think they're in serious trouble. Of course. So, they play two of the best teams in, in baseball win, next week. Win th- All you got to do is win three of your next four. Just and, win. And then Miami's just got to lo- drop one of them. But in my defense. No, that'd be one game. They, they uh, play all these pitchers. 
No. Like this weekend, they face a pitcher. Here, let me reach. I'm going to. I don't like going on my phone during the show, but just give me a minute. I'll go on my phone too and check and check it. Okay, here are the ERAs of the starting pitchers this weekend. Some guy named Davis, 958. <laughs> okay. Flexen, 719. Hit the weight room. <laughs> Blotch, 532. Get out of pen. I mean, it's just ridiculous ERAs. My dad like, just sent me a text. Yeah, Cross, I was going to say. and Palencia all should be DFA. Who did he say? Quas, Qua- Palencia, and Leiter. No, the, bull, the, bull, the bullpen looks like they just <laughs> ran like a triathlon or something. Also, Marquis reported during Wednesday's game that Jamer Candelario, remember him, is likely – going to return Friday when he's eligible to be activated from the IL. Maybe he'll get hot. Coming up next, we have a major announcement to celebrate on this somber show. Episode. Yes. <laughs> I feel like we always have great moments at the worst times. <laughs> yeah, nobody saw it. Please stay tuned. <laughs> Today's episode is brought to you by FanDuel. Oh, boy. Get ready for the NFL season with incredible offers from FanDuel, America's number one sports book. Right now, new customers can bet $5 to get 200 in bonus bets guaranteed. Plus, all customers who bet $5 will get $100 off NFL Sunday ticket from YouTube and YouTube TV. Now is the best time to join FanDuel. The app is easy to use, and you can bet on everything from spreads to player props and more. It's at this point in the ad read where we talk about the Chicago Bears, who are a unmitigated <laughs> disaster. Okay? They're going to just... get smoked on Sunday. The line is like two touchdowns. This is an NFL game. 325 slot, the number one broadcast team, and they're going to get smoked okay oh, and that's your bears report <laughs> visit fanduel.com slash locked on and kick off the nfl season with an offer you don't want to miss fanduel official partner of the lockdown podcast network and the nfl folks now's one of those moments in the show where we express our immense gratitude It has been an absolute thrill of mine to do this show since July 5th, 2022. And since the calendar turned this year, really about late January, early February is really, we took off. Yeah. And we are happy to announce that this week, uh, actually on, on Wednesday, we surpassed the 1 million downloads and views mark for 2023. Uh, This is incredible. Uh, Thank you to everybody, especially the everydayers with us all five episodes. Uh, Thank you for your time uh, watching the show, listening to the show, Apple, Spotify, where we get your podcast. Uh, We have a cool graphic here from the network. I'll, I'll post this on socials on yeah, I'd like to post Thursday it. at some time. Oh, great. Um, and uh, one million downloads, Sam. Oh, I'm live. Um, I was just, you know, just enjoying the night. No, it's awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. It's um, like I said, I, I no matter how this season ends, and I know this is kind of cliche, but I'll never forget t- the 2023 baseball season. No. Um, you know, for me, it's, you know, and I told you this on the phone today, it, it's really been a mainstay of positivity for me, not, not the season, but the show, um, you know, I, I, I can't remember one time this season hitting the end button, hitting end recording, um, and feeling like, ah, I didn't really like that show or I didn't yeah. have fun yeah, or that's I didn't really cool. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want to do that. I've never felt one time where it's like, oh man, 
I don't want to do the show tonight. Like, sure, there's some nights where you don't want to talk about a terrible loss, and you know, tonight's no exception. But, 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 you know, separating the the results with the actual, um, you know, business of the show. Like, I, I, I'm, you know, I, you know, people have reached out to me, you know, and, and have been so kind, and, yeah. and has asked me to reach out to other people and come to things, and you know, it, it's just been a really kind of cool uh, moment for us, and, and and you and I as a team, and. You know, here here's to the next one million, and and hopefully, yeah. and, and and hopefully, and 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 hopefully it comes this October. Yeah, hopefully we keep you know because if they were to the win a champion, let me tell you this: that a million would double pretty quickly if if we do a live show after they win a championship. But oh, well, absolutely, we might be a year away. One M's in one month. That'd be pretty cool. I like I like to end our one millionth episode by congratulating um, you know, Quas. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's a three run homer. If you're this deep into the episode, again, we express our deepest thanks. One million downloads and views, audio and video combined. And then a teaser, as next week we have another major announcement, as you're gonna have a uh, option to uh, an outlet to listen to us even further and support us even more. We're very excited to announce that next week. Thank you so much for checking out this edition of Locked On Cubs. Be sure to hit subscribe on YouTube and smash the like button for the algorithm, Apple, Spotify, and streaming on SiriusXM. He's Sam Olber. I'm Matt Cozy. This is Locked On Cubs.